the river and through the woods of Springfield, Molly Harper is creating art inspired by New Hampshire's natural beauty. I'm definitely influenced a lot by tree bark and what I see around me in New Hampshire and what I see around me in New England. Um, but the bark, it's, I, I just keep coming back to the bark. There's so many little details in such a small area that I just have a lot of fun focusing on them. Every piece is a little different. I try not to make things identical because I figure trees don't match. So everyone's gonna be, you know, this one's a little taller, this one's a little shorter. And it's just a lot of fun pairing people up with the right item for their home. Oh, probably elementary school was the first time I really touched clay and I just, I have always been drawn to different arts and anything that I could get my hands messy, get my hands dirty. I like them nice as smooth as possible. I focused on the birches pretty much primarily for just the last five years and didn't really do a lot of other pieces, but this year I've been finding the birch is very, very labor intensive and I want to start going back to some other d designs and different ideas I've had. Those new designs include some blue porcelain pieces and maple mugs. To pay tribute to the maple trees in New Hampshire and the maple industry. And those are gonna have more of that brown rough bark and then a really delicious mapley looking glaze on them. Molly says she loves the solitude of her studio, but interacting with people at shows is energizing. I try to make pieces that people can interact with and can feel all those little details. Um, Cause that's really what they're there for is to be enjoyed like that. Everybody has a story behind why they're drawn to certain pieces and whether it's the glaze whether it's you know a particular mushroom that they love but seeing people find the exact right piece for them uh, that it's just really wonderful knowing that they're going home with exactly what they wanted finding her pieces just the right home makes her excited to get back to her studio and get her hands dirty all over again Menu Pots, a woman-owned pottery studio located in the Button Factory in Portsmouth, is a whole vibe. I did an internship with a potter in Vermont and learned this decorating technique from him and then was kind of wanting to go off on my own and, and do my own project with it. And Claire and I were working together at the time and I found out that Clara had thrown pots in the past in mm -hmm. high school and beyond at yeah. UNH. <laughs> and so yeah, we just decided to try it out and do a collaborative project. And we sold a bunch of pieces really quickly. A business was born. It's great for both of us, I think, because I get to like make whatever shapes I want and really dive. If I'm like, oh man, I'm really loving vases right now or loving mugs, I can make a batch and be like pumped on them. And then yeah, I can do whatever designs I well, we've yeah. kind of set it up so that we have a lot of freedom in what we do. We use like three different ones, um, but right now I'm really loving white. The different clays, you get different like effects. Just making something out of nothing is like pretty cool. Um, making stuff that's functional is cool. But yeah, it's just the only way. It really is true when people say it's calming. It's just like, makes you feel good. Lee takes her artistic talents and puts them on the blank canvas that Clara provides. I'm doing the etching part of the process. So with each piece, I draw on it with pencil first on top of glaze. And then I paint over it with oxides, add wax on top of that, and then I etch to get the detailed line work. Then we fire it for a second time, and then it's done. With so much work going into each and every piece, no two are ever the same. We've gotten a lot of people who think that it has like this antique feel to it or like Scandinavian aesthetic. Um, 
To me, it just feels really warm and like something you'd recognize. Um, They're very ornate, yeah. um, very detailed. People are like, where did I see this before? And it's like, the style is really recognizable, which is like something we're really pumped about that it's like that. A true form of functional art. We've been making a lot of big platters. Um, yeah. Especially like the second half of last year and sold a lot of them during the holidays. And so many people said that it was going to be like a family heirloom. And so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, it's really beautiful to think that we're making something and yeah, putting yeah. so much into it and that it will be passed down for generations and it yeah. just has our, our name on it.